is Amanda Wilkinson of Amanda Wilkinson Tarot. It is Wednesday, May the 18th, 2022. Welcome to my channel. I'd like to say thank you to my new subscribers. I do appreciate you watching and I appreciate you subscribing. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. Glad to have you. If you are a long-term subscriber, I do thank you for your continued support. If you have not done so already, could you please like, share, and subscribe? It really does help out my channel. Um, so if you enjoy my video, please do. Thanks very much. How are you doing today, Aries? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're taking care of yourself and the people around you and vice versa. I hope you know you're beautiful, you're gorgeous, and you have that beautiful star shining right inside of you. This is a general reading. It will not resonate with every Aries out there. Take what does and leave the rest. And there's no gender in tarot. Cut in the deck. Or Aries. Spirit. One of the deck. Nine of Pentacles. Ground and balance stable. I'm single because I can pay my own bills. First card out. The King of Cups. King of Love. Cups are water energy. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Cups are blue in this deck. We got a blue background. Blue sombrero. Blue shirt. Blue flowers. He is also drinking out of a cup. He has heart-shaped eyes and nose and a heart-shaped zipper tie. He is loving, caring, compassionate, a nurturer, a good parent, a good partner, king of cups, king of love. What is crossing this? The lovers. This is Gemini energy, the lovers. I like this lovers card because there's only two people in this card. They've also had this big gorgeous silver heart-shaped commitment lock box and the toothbrush or key with wings soulmates divine counterparts the lovers consciously known the tower the tower this talks about a cataclysmic change source spirit universe strikes down the tower because it was not built on a solid foundation once the tower falls, you can rebuild, but on a solid foundation this time. Scorpio energy. Unconscious. Nine of swords. Nine of swords. Swords are air energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Swords are yellow in this deck. We got a yellow, bit of yellow in this card. This talks about sleepless nights, bad dreams, laying awake, thinking about what you could have, should have, would have done differently if you could. Um, this sphere type thing over his head reminds me of a saw trap. And these are like pins going through. Sleepless nights, bad dreams, worrying about what you could have, should have, would have done differently if you could. Recent past. The temperance. Sagittarius energy. The temperance. This talks about divine timing. Being patient. Trusting that source spirit universe will give you what you need at its proper time. She's pouring liquid from one cup into another cup. She's got a beautiful bright red flower in her long dark hair. She's wearing a dress. Black, red, and green. And she has a, a black shawl, um, cape type thing, it reminds me of the Harry Potter's invisibility cloak, the temperance, divine timing, being patient, trusting that source spirit universe will give you what you need at its proper time, near future, the three of wands, wands are fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, this talks about waiting for your ships to come in, Wands are red in this deck. We got three skulls and these Day of the Triffids type flowers. And there's a bird here with an envelope. This is waiting for your ships to come in, waiting for something or someone. Where do you find yourself? The Page of Cups. Cups are water energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Cups are all about love. Pages are messengers. This is a love message, a romantic message. Um, cups are blue in this deck. We got a blue background. She's got a blue um, head headdress, headscarf. 
a blue dress, there's blue flowers, she's also got a cup with heart-shaped eyes and nose, and she has heart-shaped eyes and nose, and her Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas skull spoon. This is a romantic message. External influences. The world, the end of a cycle, the end of a cycle. I see some positive here and I see some not so positive. Um, this could be the end of a regular cycle or the end of, uh, the end of a karmic cycle. We've got the world here. We've got this reaper. She's dressed in white, long black hair, her hourglass, her scythe. We got yellow swords for communication, red wands for passion, blue green cups for love, and green pentacles for money. The world, the end of a cycle. Hopes and or fears. Ooh, the devil. I think it might be the end of a karmic cycle. The devil. This is Capricorn energy. The devil. This talks about toxic behavior, lying, cheating, stealing. It talks about self-imposed bondage. Also talks about addictions, alcohol, drugs, sex, gambling. Um, we could see the devil here. He has... Uh, mask like Baphomet. He's got his crown. He, she. Um, um, he's got these two um, people playing guitars. They're his marionettes. There are the, the uh, strings. Um, we've got a book, candles. The devil, toxic behavior, lying, cheating, stealing, self-imposed bondage, addictions. Overall outcome, the chariot, cancer energy, the chariot. This talks about moving forward. It's also my car card. You might be looking at buying a vehicle. Um, you could see he is like a traveling salesman. Um, he's got his, reminds me of the old snake oil. Um, uh... People that like went from town to town um, selling their snake oil. Um, this can also try, this talks about moving forward, choosing a path. Also, it could talk about travel. You may have to travel for work or to see the person that you are interested in. Hmm. Nine of Pentacles. Pentacles are earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Pentacles are coins, money. Money's green. This card is green background, green sombrero, green. I don't know what it's supposed to be. Um, this is a business person, grounded, balanced, stable, independent. Uh, this is my single card. I'm single because I can pay my own bills. I'm single because I'm self sufficient. Grounded, balanced, stable, business person. The Hierophant. The Hierophant, this talks about the increase in the level of commitment in a relationship. The Hierophant talks about order, tradition, stability, commitment, engagement, marriage perhaps. I love the background of this card. I love the colors, the blue and the green all together. Just, I don't know, I love it. Um, he's got his sombrero on with white, black sombrero, white pom-poms, a big long beard, long hair. His spirit board this talks about commitment. The sun, the sun, Leo energy, the sun. This talks about happiness, joy, bliss. The sun card shines a bright, warm light over the whole rest of your spread. This talks about happiness, joy, bliss. We've got this big yellow sun. We've got sunflowers, a bluebird, people playing guitars, other yellow flowers here. Happiness, joy, bliss. Drama. Five of Wands. Wands are fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This talks about gaslighting, fighting, arguing, drama. Wands are red in this deck. He's got a red sombrero, uh, red shirt. This talks about fighting, arguing, drama. Eight of Cups. Cups are water energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. 
she has got a crown of skulls with purple flowers. It looks like her, the, the skulls are crying. She talks about walking away from something that no longer serves you. Sometimes if something is not working for you, the best thing to do is to walk away. It may be hard, but walking away from something that no longer serves. With the king of love, the lovers, divine timing, waiting for your ships to come in, romantic message, end of a cycle, moving forward. I'm single because I can pay my own bills. Thank you very much. Commitment, the sun, happiness, joy, bliss, and walking away from something that no longer serves. We had the tower, cataclysmic change you cannot prepare for. Sleepless nights, bad dreams, toxic energy, lying, cheating, stealing, addictions, drama, drama. End of a cycle, walking away from something that no longer serves. Waiting for your ships to come in. Let's see what the Oracle cards have to say. Round and round, round and round. Looks like it is a karmic cycle. Looks like it is a karmic cycle. It's kind of like a seashell. Orphaned, you're feeling, uh, you're feeling alone. Think that you're feeling like people are abandoning you. This is a sad looking card. You see um, this kind of a pedestal. This person looks like they're crying. The dress is um, falling down. Can't even see her wings. Bottom of the deck, peace. I think that's a dove. Peace. Um, I want to say this is kind of like hermit energy, taking some time to yourself, rest, relax, recuperate, rejuvenate, get back to yourself. Love cards. Let go of control issues, allow this situation to unfold naturally. Sagittarius temperance, divine timing. You deserve love. You are lovable. Absolutely. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. The hangman. Hmm. Meditation, spirituality, being caught between a rock and a hard place, dark night of the soul. Sometimes we need to look at things from a whole new perspective in order to figure them out. And the bottom of the deck, the completed world. End of a cycle. End of a cycle. I think this was a karmic cycle. I think it was. A tower crashed down around you. You're having sleepless nights, bad dreams, worrying about this. I think you were involved in, in a toxic relationship. Um, this person was a liar, cheater, thief. They had addictions, and all they did was bring drama into your life. So I feel like you walked away from what no longer served. King of love, the lovers... Divine timing, waiting for your ships to come in, romantic message, moving forward, end of a karmic cycle, and now you're single because you can pay your own bills, commitment might be coming in, happiness, joy, bliss will be coming in, and walking away from something that no longer serves. It looks like you had to walk away. We had round and round and round orphaned feeling alone feeling isolated and peace take some time to yourself rest relax recuperate let go of control issues you deserve love heart to heart conversations the hangman 
I think it took you a minute. I think it took you a minute. I think that you thought this person was your person, but they weren't. Um, the completed world, end of a karmic cycle. Um, sometimes the lovers can talk about a choice between people. I feel like that's what's happening here. Your world crashed down around you, your sleepless nights, bad dreams. Um, this was a toxic individual. All they brought was drama into your life. I think you thought they were your king of love. They thought you, you thought they were your soulmate. Um, divine timing. Romantic message. Moving forward. End of a karmic cycle. Um, I'm single because I can pay my own bills. Happiness, joy, bliss. Walking away from something that no longer serves. All right, Aries. You need to move forward. You closed out this karmic cycle. And on to the next cycle. And hoping happiness, joy, bliss comes in for you. All right, Aries. Have a great rest of your day. I will speak to you soon. This is Amanda Wilson of Amanda Wilson Tarot. Bye for now.